Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. We've shown you've reviewed those robotic vacuums. I've reviewed the iRobot Roomba. Uh, they seem like a great idea. Autonomous devices that do your vacuuming or floor washing. Well, what about mowing the lawn? This is the Robo Mow. It is, uh, what is it, about $1,500? $1,599. Uh, it's a big old thing. It looks a lot like a Roomba. In fact, uh, what we did is I, I, I didn't want to do it myself because I, I, I wanted Burke to do it. So we set it up. I gave Burke my lawn. For the Robo Mower. We sent him out to my house. Now, let me explain a little bit about this. It's not fully autonomous in the same sense that the Roomba is. The Roomba, as it wanders around, knows where the edges are, bounces off things. You actually don't want to do that with a lawnmower. It's got powerful blades. It's cutting grass. So what you'll do is you'll put a wire around, using stakes and a wire. It's a little more work. It took work about an hour and a half to lay the wire out on this small plot of uh, grass. And then uh, you have a docking station, just like you do for the Roomba. The Robomo goes into the docking station, plugs in, charges up. They say you can leave it outside, but it'd probably be better to leave it under an eave so it's not getting fully rained upon. Uh, it does have controls. You can program it. You can say, hey, go mow the lawn every uh, Sunday or every day if you want. Um, and it will actually mow the lawn. The first thing it does, though, when you first use it, is it wanders the perimeter. It looks, it follows that wire to get a sense of what uh, is the area. They say we don't go up hills. It really needs to be a couple of things. If you're going to use this, it should be a flat plot of land. They say they could do 1,200 square meters. By the way, notice the meters. This is, I think, a European com company because a lot of the instructions, uh, you know, felt like they were written by Europeans. But that's fine. You can understand them. Uh, it just might be an issue. You want to make sure you get it from somebody who can uh, repair it or replace it locally because uh, you don't want to have to ship this back to Stubingen or wherever. Uh, there's the blades. Uh, they're not, you know, my John Deere had bigger blades. My my regular mower has bigger blades, but they're sufficient. You wouldn't want to cut weeds with these. This is really designed for one thing, a simple plot of lawn that you want to keep manicured, but you don't want to mow it yourself. So I see that the natural user for this is perhaps... An older person who just wants the lawn to stay mowed without having those annoying kids come and giving them five bucks each time. Uh, you know, it can't be a complicated, you know, we have a hillside uh, and we didn't want the robo mower to have to go up the hill. It can't really. It's, it, it's for a very specific area. If there's a fountain, a tree, if there's stuff in there, it gets too complicated. The robo mower is not going to do a good job for that. So this is for a very specific group of people. They've got to have money to spend because it's 1600 bucks, And you're going to want somebody to set it up uh, because it takes a considerable amount of time. That's what I had Burke do. Uh, you also might want to be careful if you've got pets because the robo-mo uh, with pets or children, uh, there's always that risk. This thing is a high-powered lawnmower, and it's autonomous. Um, so, you know, <laughs> well, the, just use your imagination. It's probably a good idea not to use Use this in a fenced yard where you don't have people or children or anybody wandering in. I hate to see a kid go up to this and say, oh, what's that? That'd be a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. Um, so pros, well, it does what it says it'll do. It's an automated lawnmower. It's kind of cool, just like the uh, iRobot. I thought it, the cool factor is very high, especially when your neighbors see it. Oh, but watch out. You see, here comes my landscaper. He's not real happy uh -oh. about the idea that I might be using the robo instead of him. Don't worry, Owen. Your your job is safe. This doesn't weed. It doesn't prune trees. It doesn't whack weeds. It doesn't even work on a hillside. It's just for a very specific small plot of simple lawn. It does do that. The cons, it's very expensive. It's very limited in its capability. And while we didn't use it for very long, I can imagine that just like the iRumba, there's going to be a considerable amount of uh, fussing with it and paying attention to it. And the biggest problem here. Uh, if it doesn't make it back to its charging station, which it did for us, it's supposed to automatically go back to charging when it's done. Uh, it's very heavy. It's about 50 pounds. So you're, you're not going to want to lift it and move it on your own. You're going to need to get a gardener in to move it. <laughs> so uh, given all of that, I have to say it's probably not a do not, uh, probably a do not buy. Um, but there are some very limited people who probably could get something out of this. Uh, and I, I think for an older person with a simple lawn, and they just really don't want to pay any attention to this. 
uh, it might do a pretty good job. It did, by the way, it preserved our lawn sprinkler heads. It didn't bonk into them or anything like that. You can adjust how tightly it will crop uh, the grass uh, to your uh, needs. Um, get some exercise. Get a real mower and just go out there and mow your own lawn. That's my advice to you.